On the one hand, we always repeat and say how important it is to disseminate the wisdom to the whole world as much as we can. On the other hand, there is this attitude that if someone isn't really ready, then let's let him be. And if, for example, we look at religions, we see that they work completely differently. They come right at you from here, from there. They don't care about anything, your question. Why? I mean, if it's that important, why this passive attitude on our behalf? Because they work such that they don't have to correct the desire, they don't have to bring a person to awareness, they don't work in order to evoke, to create free choice and the recognition of evil in the person. They don't develop a person to be free and then from that freedom to decide. They bring down upon a person a kind of a blind of theirs. They close his eyes, they inflate him by promises on the different levels of education and frameworks through fear about this world, the next world, about the reward and punishment he's losing. They're working in the framework of our world in the form of stick and candy. We, by engaging in the wisdom of Kabbalah, we want to grow the point in the heart next to man's ego, for a person to be in between the two, between the good and the so-called evil inclination, between the ego, which is the evil inclination, and the point in the heart, which is the good inclination. Then he'll be in the middle, free of the two, and he will freely decide what does he want to go with? And more correctly put, for him to be able to use the evil inclination in favor of the good inclination, and thus to advance every time. And the choice is always in his hands. We work such that we're growing the Adam, the speaking part in a person that's similar to the Creator, that can speak freely, can say whatever he feels like, isn't afraid of anything, there's no next world, there's nothing, everything's up to you, you do everything, there's no reward nor punishment, don't be afraid of anything. We open everything before him, and now that you see that, that there's nothing, do whatever you want, now decide. That means that here you acquire some kind of a new attitude to life that's completely disconnected from what you are now, meaning there is a kind of an ascent in the building of one's own personality. He's building his new personality called Adam, meaning similar to the Creator.